Thank you for joining us. After six years of discussions, the City Council voted 6-1 to one this week to allow chickens in Coon Rapids. The new ordinance will take effect by the end of the month. CTN's Joe Nelson has more from the meeting and what you need to know if you want to keep backyard chickens. With a vote just minutes away, Coon Rapids citizens flock to the City Council chambers to listen and to be heard. Public comments range from positive. Most people that want to have chickens want to be responsible owners and want to... Um, um, you know, not cause any problems. To negative. I just think it's a horrible idea. It's just begging for trouble. To the unusual. Those that vote for this ordinance, I'll be more than happy to mail you a chicken. But in the end, Ben Hiltner and possibly hundreds of others in support of bringing chickens to Coon Rapids got the answer they've been waiting for. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Um, that motion carries. The number of people who are excited, it's, it's really pretty amazing uh, to have seen all of that, uh, especially for as long as it took. Um, it, it, makes it, it makes it worth all the effort uh, to get us to this point. The ordinance requires a maximum of four chickens per household with no roosters allowed. No slaughtering with standards for sanitary conditions. Coops and runs no bigger than 60 square feet in the backyard, located at least 10 feet from property lines, 30 feet from neighbors' homes, 50 feet from any well, and 6 feet from their own home. We'll be monitoring this, but I think from a staff perspective, we're satisfied with, with how things ended up. With the ordinance not going into effect until the end of May, both Hiltner and City Community Development Director Grant Fernelius say it's best to wait before building a coop or buying birds. In the meantime, um, staff is working on the administrative process in terms of the paperwork, the application, determining what the fee will be so that we'll be prepared when people come forward and want to actually apply for chickens that we'll be ready to, to help them out with that. If you're excited to have chickens as we all are, just wait until the permit process gets started. Make sure you know the rules, make sure you follow the rules. We don't want to make trouble with our neighbors, we want to be good examples. The new ordinance will take effect on May 23rd. At that time, you'll be able to apply for a permit, but you must have a site plan showing your coop and run meet all of the requirements. For more details on what you need to know before buying chickens, go to our website at ctncoonrapids.com. Stephen Karen? Always uh -huh. nice to have the fresh eggs. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, right. Joe. Thank you, Joe.